Hey there YouTube, this is Mank Tiagi and as you are aware of that uh, result of second round of Hack Within Fear out now so those who have qualified will be having their interview in couple of weeks uh, there may be a little difference uh, this year instead of in-person interview uh, you may have the chance for Skype interview most probably because of this COVID situation so whatever the situation is you have to prepare for your interview and lots of students are confused that uh, what topics are, they need to prepare what are the important topics with regard to Infosys interview so in this video I'll be talking about uh, what topics you need to prepare and from where you can prepare uh, what are the best resources to prepare for the interview so I have divided this video in two parts in first part I will cover all the topics that you need to prepare and the subjects that you need to prepare and in second part I will cover uh, the resources from where you can prepare for your interview so let's get started <laughs> Okay, the first and foremost thing that you need to keep in mind that uh, the logic for the problem that you have solved in online rounds are mo most important one because uh, most inter mostly every interviewer uh, ask the problem or question that uh, what were the problems in the coding round and how was your approach, uh, what approach you used to solve those problems. So keep in mind that uh, what were the problems and what logic or data structure algorithm you used to solve those problems. Uh, sometime interview may ask you to write the function for that problem uh, from the uh, online round so make sure that uh, you uh, will be able to solve that problem at that time uh, because this gonna make a good impression on the interviewer so after the uh, coding round problems now the second most important thing is your resume because most of your interview is going to be based on your resume so make sure that you put uh, the relevant skills that you have in your resume uh, the projects that you have worked on uh, or have hands experience uh, put only those uh, don't put irrelevant skills uh, that you have just simply work for a day or two uh, don't uh, put those skills on the resume because that's not gonna help you if uh, interviewer ask you cross question from that then you will not able to answer those question and that's not gonna make a good impression so make sure that you put only relevant skill uh, like uh, the programming la language uh, so you have good hands-on experience or you have uh, worked quite well so put that uh, don't put the programming language that you have worked for simply just to write hello world program so that's not gonna make good impression uh, keep in mind that everything that is on your resume interviewer is going to ask that from you so the projects that you have put on that so make sure that the project that you have worked on because when interviewer is going to ask you cross questions from your project and if you are not able to answer those questions that's uh, that will be a problem for you uh, so uh, read out the problem statement for your project what you have done in the project what technology or stack you have used for the project so make sure that you know everything and you prepared that as well if you have done a good project then the interview will ask you definitely from questions from that project too and after project there will be question from your preferred programming language either it is java or c++ in most of the case so there will be question like uh, from object oriented programming concepts like abstraction polymorphism data encapsulation uh, or class what is object and uh, multiple inheritance type of inheritance so these type of question will be asked so you need to prepare them as well and uh, uh, collection in case of java and stl standard template library in place, case of cpp so these are also important topics and uh, one more topic is exception handling most of the interval uh, love to ask the question from this topic as well so prepare that as well now after these uh, question from programming language uh, there will be question from computer science subject either it is from computer network uh, dbms software engineering or operating system so uh, let's start from operating system in case of operating system there will be question from uh, the scheduling algorithm in most of the case uh, like uh, first come first serve algorithm or uh, priority scheduling algorithm so these uh, will be the question from the operating system uh, in case of computer network there will be question from OSI model uh, layer of OSI model uh, type of topologies of network so these will be question from computer network so prepare them as well there will be a few uh, commands interview may ask you to write the command for any uh, computer network command like uh, ping command or IP config command so make sure to uh, give a look to them as well and after that uh, there will be question from software engineering so from software engineering there are a few questions like uh, a type of SDLC models, what is SDLC model, software development life cycle model and uh, what are the type of testing like black box testing, white box testing, alpha testing so there will be question uh, from that 
now come the database management system that is dbms so from dbms there will be a question like uh, interview may ask you to write a query like write the query for uh, uh, second highest salary from the employee table or second highest mark from the student table so these will be query question uh, then uh, interview may ask you to the asset property of dbms and there may be a question related to keys like what is primary key candidate key and there is also one topic uh, which is type of joins so what are the type of join like inner join outer join left join right, right join uh, full join so these will be the questions and sometime interview may ask you he may give you a pseudo code and then uh, ask you to what is the output of this code so prepare some pseudo code as well so i'll be talking the, about the resources from where you can prepare in the next part of this video so stay tuned so this is all for the first part now move to the second part in which uh, we will see that uh, what are the resources to prepare for the interview so first and foremost resources is geeks for geeks uh, that is gfg site which is one of the most important site for every computer science student uh, most of the computer science students prepare uh, from that site so either uh, you are applying for in job or either you are work, uh, studying in college so most of the student go there and learn from that site so there are interview experiences uh, coding problems pseudo codes they have everything uh, that any computer science student need so you can check that site and prepare from there and if your main language is java and you want to prepare some interview question from java then uh, there is another site which is java t point which has quite a good content uh, related to java interview questions there are more than i think 300 questions uh, related to java interview question uh, which are more than sufficient for infosys interview so give a look to that and if you need more content uh, for preparation then you can uh, go to the tutorial point site which also has a good content related to every computer science subject either it is operating system dbms or uh, software engineering that's all for this video i hope this will help you if you think this video is helpful please do like this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe all the best for your interview have a nice day